day. Welcome to English Lesson 14. I hope you guys are doing well today, that it's not too hot or anything like that. It's hard to tell, huh? It's getting really hot around here. I don't like hot days. I like the rain. Do you guys like rain? I love it when it's raining, especially when you want to go to sleep. Ah, it's so comforting when there's rain, but not when there's too much and you get flooding. That I don't like, but just the sound of nice rain. That's cool. Okay, let's get started with our English lesson instead of talking about the rain. We are going to be talking about first our special sound k in duck. We've already talked about this one, we're just reviewing it. K in duck, C K. K, k, k. Say it with me. K in duck, C K. K, k, k. So this particular sound, we call it a special sound, and it comes after a short vowel sound. Uh, 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 duck. All of these sounds are short vowel sounds. Quick, I, I, I. Soft, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Pack, ah, ah, ah. Neck, ah, ah, ah. Back, ah, ah, ah. Lock, ah, ah, ah. So CK comes after a short vowel sound. If I want to analyze my words using, um, my different symbols that I have learned. We're gonna be analyzing words so that you know how to read them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is mark my vowels and then I'm going to circle my special sounds. Remember how we mark our vowels. If you have one vowel in your word, it says it's short sound, we mark it with a smile. If you have two vowels in your word, the first one says it's long sound and the second one is so we mark a stick over the long one and cross out the silent one. Okay, let's look at my words up here. I have back, kick, deck. Let's start with back. We have one vowel, so we mark it with a smile. Back. My special sound is k in duck, c, k. So I circle my special sound, just like that. Okay, now you can be following along on your English page. We're doing pages 15 through 16 today. So it looks like this with the puppy dog was all caught in the fishing line. That's what it should look like. Okay, so the next word, now back is done for you on your paper as your example. The next word is not, so we're gonna do it together. Kick, kick, you have one vowel, so it says it's short sound. Then you have the special sound, k in duck, c, k. And we circle it. All right, next we have deck. Deck. One vowel, it says it's short sound. The next thing is our special sound, k in duck, c, k. Now we've just learned that k in duck, c, k, follows a short vowel sound. What if we have a long vowel sound? Well, we have to change our k spelling. It's no longer CK. When it's a long vowel sound, we have to use KE. So KE follows a long vowel sound. Let's take a look at some examples. Tack. Tack. Hear the short A? Ah, ah, apple. Ah, ah, ah. Tack. So we have our short A because there's one vowel. So we use a C, K after it. How about this one? T, A, K, E. Two vowel, so the first one is long. Take, take. Hear the difference? Tack, take. A, 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 long A. So we mark this one with our long vowel sound and this one is silent. There are no special sounds to circle, so this is how I mark my word. Okay, number two on your paper has us doing the exact same thing. Circle any special sounds and mark the vowels. So what I need to do then is read my word. One vowel, rack, says it's short vowel sound. So I mark it with a smile. I have a special sound, k in duck, C, K. So I circle it. Look at this one. Two vowels. 
R-A-K-E. So the first one has a long sound and it's marked with a stick. The second one is silent, so I cross it out. So it's rake, rake. So you need to finish this one on your own with lick and like. Follow the examples that I just did and you did with me. Okay, number three says, mark the circle under the correct word. So the first picture is of a little girl that has some flowers. So our word for that is to pick. Pick. What would be the correct spelling of pick? P-I-C-K or P-I-K-E? P-I-C-K, because C-K goes with a short vowel. The next one is bike, bike. What's the correct spelling? B-I-C-K or B-I-K-E? Well, that's a long I, bike. So it's B-I-K-E, the two vowels. And lastly is duck, D-U-C-K or D-U-K-E? I'm gonna let you pick that one all on your own. Okay, you ready? Let's move on to dictation down at the bottom of your page. Dictation, we have eight words once again, so listen carefully. Remember, you can pause the video if you need to. You can back up the video. You can also ask me to make a voice message for you if you cannot hear well enough over the video. Number one, take, take. Word number two, lick, lick. Word number three, cake, k -k cake. Word number four, dock, dock. Word number five is a little bit of a challenge word. Smack, smack. Word number six, cub, cub. Word number seven, robe, robe. Word number eight, Again, a bit of a challenge word, kelp. Remember your C and K rule. K goes with mm -hmm, C before the other three. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna move on now to page 16. So flip your paper over, unless you need to go back and listen to the video again for your words. Number one on page 16 says, circle yes if the words are a sentence. Circle no if the words are not a sentence. Then color the picture. So first thing says, Carlos drew a frog. Carlos, I would love to see a picture of a frog. All right, is that yes or no? Yes, it's a sentence or no, it is not. What do you think, Mariana? Yes, it's a sentence because you have an action, drew, who drew, Carlos drew. Would you like that, Carlos? You're in our book. Woohoo! Okay, next, he will color it. Is that a sentence or no? What do you think, Elena? Yes, it is, because it's the complete thought. He is coloring it, so we know that there's an action and we know who's doing it. A green crayon. A green crayon. What do you think, Esteban? No, it's not. Because there is no complete thought. What about the green crayon? Who's using the green crayon? Did it break? We don't know. What happened with the green crayon? It's not a complete thought, so nope, not a sentence. Many cattails. What do you think, Billy? 
No, it's not a sentence either because we don't know anything about the cattails. We just know there's a lot of cattails. Cattails grow by the pond. By the way, cattails, that's what this thing is in your picture. Those are cattails. Cattails grow by the pond. What do you think, Andrea? Yeah, that one is a sentence because um, we know that something is growing, that's our action, and we know what is growing. The cattails are growing. So we have a complete thought. And lastly, I pick them. I pick them. What do you think, Erin? Yeah, it's a sentence because someone is picking the flowers, I'm picking the flowers. So we have a complete thought. All right, now the last part says mark the vowels. Draw lines to match the pictures with the words. So you need to first look at the words that are on the bottom. You have bug, peas, home, fan. Mark it with a smile if there's one vowel, with a stick and a crossing out if there's two. Then you need to draw a line from the word to the correct picture. All right, have a wonderful day guys. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.